Hello, YouTubers. This is Joe Bravo with Mo Bravo's Knife Review. And today I'd like to introduce everybody again to one of the makers I am really excited about that I've gotten into, and that is Maverick Concepts. Nick Marshall out of Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, has really been doing some fantastic stuff, and it's been going under the radar, and uh, I really don't think it should be. It's uh, real quality work, all handmade. Uh, you've seen it on the channel a couple of times. I bought in. All five of these knives are Maverick Concepts knives. Uh, each one handmade in central Pennsylvania, and uh, each one absolutely fantastic in their own right. Um, I think the first guys you've seen on the channel already would be the 3.3-inch uh, Hien, the 3.3-inch Asuka. Uh, I don't think that you've guys seen the 3.3-inch Integral, the 3-inch Integral. And recently I did a video comparing the 3-inch Asuka to the 3.3-inch Asuka. Um, but let me just give you guys a little breakdown again so that if you haven't caught those videos yet, you can. So the one up top is a full custom 3.3 inch Hien with a Tonto blade. And Nick does not do a lot of the Tonto blades in the Hien. And uh, this is actually a special build. It was a custom order. And we had around eight and a half inches overall. Uh, well, I guess that's seven and a half being that I'm starting at one. I know that sounded a little long in the tooth, but uh, the front scale on this bad boy is, uh, I think, uh, Dark TI or Makuti. I got to get the uh, card out and I'll tell you. But regardless, just did a stunning, stunning job. And what you can see here is inside that pivot is uh, Dom Steel. And he made the Dama Steel pivot custom to go along with the Dama Steel collar. And you're going to say, wow, that's that's pretty neat. You sure as shit it is. There's the Dama Steel on the blade itself. Uh, but some of the coolest stuff that you're going to see is actually on the back side. So he made the entire lock side out of the Dama Steel pattern. And if you could see, he actually gets it to flow right into the blade and it's just amazing amazing craftsmanship to be able to do that yeah you know, that's the other side of the pivot there also made out of the dama steel the lock side is made out of dama steel and then he made the collar out of the dark damascus on the back side on the lock side and then followed it up with the dark ti on the uh, clip now but he wasn't done there I don't know if it's going to show up or not, but yeah, those standoffs are Dama Steel. I think they said the only thing he didn't make in this entire knife by hand uh, are the screws. That's it. So everything on here was made by hand, made to order. It's running on bearings. It's extremely smooth. It's got a fantastic front flipper action. Just a freaking ball to play with. Just lightning. And uh, all done here in the United States. All done by hand in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. And uh, just a fantastic knife. So Nick said that he wasn't going to make many more knives out of the uh, Dama Steel lock side. He said it was very labor intensive. So it's really interesting that I was able to nab a really special piece like that and have it be part of my collection. Uh, this next piece I purchased from Nick directly recently. This is the unnamed integral, he calls it. And it is a Tonto unnamed integral with Coke bottle profile on the handle. Now you can kind of see that it raises and lowers causing that you know appearance in the scale there. That flare makes it very comfortable in the hand. Uh, you can see the Dama Steel pattern. And this has a satin finish on it. You actually feel the etching inside the Dama Steel. Uh, again, on bearings. 
excellent action. Great detent. Nice drop shut with a half a shake. There's a lot of blade weight in the front of that. Uh, this is not a Tonto. I apologize. This is a drop point style. And Nick doesn't make a lot of these in the drop point style. Does a lot of the sheep's foot. Does a lot of the Tonto. I was really happy to be able to pick up one of these drop point styles. Uh, I don't have any drop point style blades from him. And uh, to be honest, drop point is one of my favorite blade styles. So it was just great for it to work out. This was from uh, the California Custom Knife Show. I'll show you the lock side with some dark TI in the clip. Clip works great. In and out of the pocket. As you can see, it is one solid piece of titanium milled out. And it's very flush. Just well done. Really, really well done. And uh, being that I got this directly from Nick, uh, it comes with a warranty and a spa. So anytime I wanted to send this to Nick to get taken care of, uh, that piece is good to go. Send Nick, he'll make it like new and send it back as best as he can. And uh, that's part of the package that he works out. If you buy it directly from him, you get the warranty and you get the spa, no questions asked. So, I mean, obviously, if you do something stupid, but I'm wearing tear, use of the knife, there's no issues at all. Uh, I'm going to jump to this guy, which is the three inch unnamed integral. Now, I picked this one up on the secondary, had a great action to it, but the previous user, uh, owner, you know, used it and uh, it needed to be refreshed so when you talk about the spa service and the warranty uh, nick was able to bring this in i shipped it to nick and he cleaned up that dom of steel and it looks better than i could imagine it did when it was new he actually put some color in the pivot that's a tamascus pivot that he colored with some electro anno and uh again with the clip this was actually um non-colored the pivot was non-colored had a very muted monotone look and uh you know with the speed holes with the dama steel i felt like it just needed a little bit of flair and nick took care of that with the anno on the tamascus parts and uh this action is just great i'll put it up there any day of the week with an utzler duck uh, or duckling in its small footprint it's just snappy as all hell uh, my buddy Eddie picked up uh, an integral made out of Makuti, and it's just lightning. It is no different than this in the action. Just ex absolutely excellent. Uh, you know, me with three-inch dump studded blades six months ago, eight months ago, you never would have seen me with them now. Uh, with the addition of the Asuka, uh, I've really been getting into the thumb stud action. And uh, I'm certainly glad I finally gave it a shot because now I know how to deploy it. And uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. So this is the three inch unnamed integral, again, by Maverick Concepts. Uh, I'll go to the Asukas now. Now, both the Asukas, again, are front flipper and studded. Terrific, terrific action. Uh, all five of these knives are on bearings. Nick did start making a knife with the uh, custom washers that he's been able to make. And, uh, man, he's going to kill me when he hears that I can't think of what the hell it was called. But a uh, really cool-looking knife. He did a prototype auction recently. Uh, I tried to bid on it, but I was not successful. Uh, the thumb stud deployments on these are great. The front flipper action is great. You know, you can panty flick it. You know, it's just no problem. And, you know, with the liner lock, you don't have to worry about where you manipulate the frame. Uh, with this hammered frame lock, it is probably my favorite knife in my entire collection right now. And, uh, you know, that says a lot. It says a lot to Nick. I wish I had bought this from Nick directly because then I'd have that uh, wonderful, wonderful spa and warranty service. But I know when I use it and I send it to Nick, if I had to give him a couple dollars to uh, make it look like new, it'll be no problem at all. So one of the other things I'd like to show, uh, this is a Maverick Concept Zerk coin that he's doing now. Uh, he had a couple of shiny ones that he was hitting with the laser. 
this is Zerk. And he uses the, uh, I guess, the laser to color. That's a gold flake in there that he put in. And uh, just terrific. I'm number 34. And just, again, awesome, awesome craftsmanship. Uh, really, really nice stuff. Now, if I had to pick the ones that I'm going to keep as forever knives, um, I think the 3.3 he had will always be part of my collection because the craftsmanship is just so amazing and the action follows suit. You know, it's really a, a double threat. The 3.3 inch integral with the drop point, very unique. Uh, I do have the warranty and the spa on it, which means keeping it only behooves me to use the hell out of it, which I already have. Uh, the 3.3 inch Asuka, which is probably one of my favorite knives at the moment. Uh, it's definitely going to be a forever keeper knife. And uh, I'm going to say this 3-inch Integral is so snappy. I don't think I have anything close to keeping that is as snappy as this, as fluid, as uh, sexy, very in-your-face, very flashy. And uh, when you pull this out to use it, whether it's to cut open a little box or something, everybody knows that it's going to be a fine piece of knife. Uh, when you get it out. Uh, the one knife that I think I am going to move is going to be the three inch Asuka. And uh, it's not because it's not a nice knife. It is a beautiful knife. Uh, I just think having the three inch, uh, the 3.3 inch Asuka makes owning the three inch redundant. So, well, thanks for checking in. Um, um, if Nick and Maverick Concepts isn't getting you know, the notoriety as it should. I'm more than happy to give them a little pump where I can so that uh, anybody that is apprehensive about trying a custom knife maker that they're not really familiar with, uh, if it says Maverick Concepts, give it a whirl because Nick will uh, definitely, definitely, definitely impress you with his level of detail and uh, the actions and the level of quality he has on his knife. So, if you have any questions, reach uh, me on Instagram, Watson and the Shark. Uh, you find me on Facebook or uh, any a plethora of ways to get a hold of me. Make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment so that I know that you're out there uh, taking a look at the video and providing me with a little bit of feedback. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend, and uh, take care.